Hi! <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I hope that this video will reach you guys in great health and strength, feel lots of love, joy, peace and happiness and all of the amazing things that life has to offer. So, I just got in the house. I worked today. Today was a work day for me. Um, it was a pretty good day. Thank God for that. The weather is not bad. Are you ready for spring? I know we in spring, but I am like so ready for some nice weather. Some nice warm weather and thing and thing and thing. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know. So, I just got in the house, but before I came home, I stopped at the grocery store to get some chicken because, you know, I'm a chicken mouth. I said chicken melt and I feel like eating some curry. Right? So I stop and buy some chicken, I think. To come home and cook some curry. I got rice already. So you. now I got to go make some curry to eat with the rice. And one of my commenters asked me to do a little curry chicken tutorial and thing. Oh guys, girl, you get me feeling nice. Hi. I love y'all. I, yeah, I know y'all able. So <laughs> I am going to do just that. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my little curry. You know, I ain't no big time chef, like I said. I could do a little something. If I if I get married and thing, I know for all my husband. I could cook fee and thing. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go change my clothes and um I'm going to come and cook the curry. Alright? So you ready? Thumbs up this video if you're ready for 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 do do curry. <laughs> y'all ain't ready, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for this curry. You ready here, yes, man. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. guys so I am about to cut up the pieces of chicken and I am cutting up about six pieces of chicken um legs chicken or fish or shrimp or anything I like when it's clean you know I eat no rank, rank chicken or rank fish so I am just pouring some apple cider vinegar into the chicken before I do that I like to wash it with water here I am putting out the seasonings that I will be using which is onions because I love me some onions and also some green seasoning or shallot and also garlic I, whenever I'm cooking curry I love to use a lot of garlic because it's not not only does it make the curry taste real good but garlic is good for you in this clip I am still washing out the chicken so I'm just pouring out the vinegar that I have there and now I'm squeezing the lime into the chicken I did squeeze a whole lime in there and I'm just gonna leave that for another two to three minutes so that it will take out any rank or rancid scent and now I'm just washing the lime out and I'm going to start seasoning the chicken Now it 
it's time to season the chicken which is my favorite part here I'm adding some Jamaican choice chicken season that I picked up from the local Western store in my area now I'm adding some black pepper because you have to have black pepper eh, eh. now I'm adding adobo yeah yeah and I'm just showing you the chicken on there I don't know why <laughs> and now I am adding some onions I don't know ever since I was a kid and I, when I was cooking I always loved to grate onions in my chicken because I just think it just gives the chicken a little more oomph I don't know why but it's just a habit I love to grate it now I'm adding paprika and here I am adding just a teaspoon of curry because I've always done it that way everyone cooks curry differently and I just I'm mixing it with my hands because you know Caribbean people like mixing it um, <laughs> here I am cutting up the green onions or shallots that I like, cut, like I like to call it and I'm cutting up my onions and everything I just love to cook with a lot of this type of stuff I don't know why I just think it just gives my food a wonderful flavor and I'm just cutting that up now I'm peeling potatoes now for curry I personally don't like potatoes in my curry but um, I don't know I just decided to add some potatoes to this and um, I'm just peeling it In this clip, I'm going to show you how I make my curry paste. I am taking two teaspoons of curry and half a teaspoon of jeera and I mix that with water. I don't want to make it too thick or too runny. I usually add this after the chicken is cooked and everything. And this gives the, the curry a deeper curry color. clip I am preparing to cook and that is my canary and I am using two cubes I know I added salt in the chicken but I personally don't really like it over salt I prefer cubes um, now I'm adding the oil and I am cooking my onions first my onions and the green season and the cubes and everything I'm just gonna cook that first so I'm gonna fry up the seasoning for about five to six minutes and then I'm going to add the chicken in there oh one more thing when you whenever you're cooking curry you have to be very careful with how much curry you use because if you use too much it could end up tasting really really bitter and if you don't use enough the curry is gonna get its rightful color or the rightful taste so you have to know how me using it all right I'm throwing the chicken into the seasoning and everything so that it can cook and notice that I did not add any water because I'm gonna cover the pot down for 20 to 25 minutes so that the chicken can cook thoroughly and it springs its own water so there's no need for me to add that because I don't want the curry to be runny or anything so yeah and also I apologize for the shakiness please 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 forgive me for that I did not even notice that I wasn't focusing properly but I apologize so after 20 to 25 minutes the chicken is cooked and now I'm going to add the potatoes whenever you cook in curry you always add the potatoes last because the potatoes cooks really really quickly and also I'm gonna add the um, curry sauce that I made which is going to give it a deeper color as you can see and I'm gonna cover that down turn down the stove to media a medium um, setting and I'm gonna let that cook until the potatoes are soft and here the potato is soft and 
and the food done. Here is the finished results. <laughs> Gotta have pepper, yeah? Eh eh. Can you guys know eat pepper? <laughs> hey guys! Uh, I hope that you enjoyed my curry chicken tutorial. Listen, there's not a real, real bad Guyanese curry. A bad Guyanese curry got mango in it and it got Mary pepper in it. But I ain't got no green mango and I don't have no Mary pepper. But that is how I cook curry chicken. So, gotta take off my glasses because it's about to get serious right now. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video and leave your comments down below. Let's get it cracking. Let's get this conversation going. Let me know how you um, cook curry and let me know if you're gonna try my way of cooking curry. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Let, let a girl know. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here and I trust and pray that this video will reach is reaching you guys in great health and strength and um, you're in a great, great, great mood, right? Depending on when you're watching this, whether it's day or evening, I hope you're in a, in a good mood. If not, I hope that my video made you, you know, lifted your spirits a little bit because you know food can do that okay food does that to us <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go now and um i will see you in another video i love you guys so remember that god loves you and i love you too all right so see you later bye bye mm -hmm. <laughs>